Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So what we're going to learn today with Valentine's Day right around the corner is how to make a full Persian heart. Now you are going to need a working knowledge of how to make full Persian, but I will teach you how to split it and how to rejoin it to make the heart. So here's a supply list. It's not very long and um, let's get to it. All right, guys, so I have pre-opened all of my 11, 20 gauge 1164s, 11th gauge, wow. English, good, right? And I've made a quick little two, two, and two, because this is how I start full Persian. So to start the full Persian, I'm going to make a little basket like I'm doing Byzantine and pray I don't drop it. Uh, Full Persian is one of those that when you're starting it and you drop it, you can uh, completely lose what you're doing, and that can be a pain in the neck. So there's one. We're going to add another, just like we were doing a bit of Byzantine. And pray that it doesn't fall. There we go. So now we have what looks like we're starting Byzantine, a very, very loose Byzantine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a ring right here. I'm going to go through that bottom basket. And then through those top rings. And then we're going to flip it around and we're going to do the same thing. One in just through those and then through those right there. So now we have our little starter piece of full Persian. Two extra rings. Now we're going to split it. This is the part where it gets a little complicated, but not too complicated. Now, usually in full Persian, we just go the two, then around and around, two, around and around, right? In this case, we're actually going to add two more rings. Okay, so we have our four rings in here. And the part to realize is that we have that little basket right down here. This is going to come into play as we split it. So usually you go through two and then two. In this case, we're only going to go through three. under just the one right there and through the two and close the ring. We're going to repeat this on the other side going through that one and then through the two and just the two Mine is fighting me. It wants to go the other way, through the two and then through the one on this side. Whatever. All right, then we're going to flip it over and we're going to repeat what we just did. Through those two and the one, like so. Now on this side, it wants to go through the one. And 
and then through the two. And as you can see, we have now split our piece of full Persian. So to truly lock that in, we are going to go through the two right there on the inside. see this is the start to our heart. So we're going to go through and through that one and close that one. So there you go. There's a split piece of full Persian. Now what I'm going to want you to do is we're going to continue this row to eight. So one, two. Sometimes you might need nine, but I want them to be eight at least on each side. Now you can decide to go longer if you want to for a more floppity heart. I tend to like a little bit more of a puckered look. More of a sweetheart kind of heart. Okay guys, I did need nine. Sometimes I can get it done with eight. Sometimes I need 10. So we have nine branch outs. And when you make it into a heart form, it has a little bit of tension to it. Right, so now we're going to lock these together. And this part's real easy. So we're going to go ahead and add a ring. We're going to go to this side and again we're going to add a ring. Just like we were going to be continuing the full Persian. We're going to loop it down to its each other. It's going to fight you a little bit, but you've got this. Now we're going to go through these two, these two, and our two new rings. Again, it's going to fight a little bit like it's fighting me because we're closing that tension. 
just fiddle with it a bit. And there we go. We're going to repeat that process. On the other side of going through the two rings going through these two rings. Again, this one's going to fight because you are finally getting the, the tension to make the heart. And then those two rings right there. I'm using my mat to help brace it and get it closed. And Voila! There is your heart. Now, some people like to extend the Persian down by one. I don't. But that is how you make a little chainmail heart. Now, you can bail it in a couple of different ways. You can take a ring and put it through the side. You can uh, what I tend to do is take a ring and go here and grab another ring and go there and then I'll run a chain through it like that. So here you guys go. Here's our completed heart pendant on the chain using the bail. But again, you can bail it on the side or whatever. You can also hang crystals from the bottom, whatever you want to do. So I hope you found this tutorial fun. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below, or you can go watch uh, me live on twitch.tv slash fairywings, and I will be more than happy to answer any of your questions. And you can see me make it live. Um, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you wanna see more chainmail content, please hit the subscribe button and ring that bell. And until next time, be good to each other, guys.